Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So I am continuing on with my dollar store series. If you don't know what that is, uh, basically a little while back I asked viewers to send me items from dollar, the dollar store if they would like to see me pour with them. And so I have several more to do. I've created a playlist on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description for you to check that out if you missed the earlier ones. Um, this is from uh, Deborah Klein. And she sent me these cat toys. So she said split cat toy in half. Um, little ball discarded, I think she said. Poured like a sink strainer over it. So I'm thinking she means the cat toy. <laughs> I probably should have asked. Anyways, and she actually sent me a photo of one that she did with the cat toy. And it was awesome. So I hope she doesn't mind, but I'm going to actually include it here in the video. Um, so she did a really, really great job with that. And hopefully I can do something halfway as cool. I am using warmer colors for this. No blue, you guys. So let's see, we got white, we got yellow. It's time to have another paint mixing party. Some red. I am going to use some of my neon pink. I don't remember which brand this was, either folk art or deck art, deco art, deck art. Ah, I'm tired. Okay. And then some of the, this is the Arteza bronze and go back in here with some more white and I'm going to see if I can get a bit more yellow out of this. Uh, but while I'm doing this, I want to just ensure that you guys know that I just released my online acrylic pour workshop. I put a lot of work into this. I'm very proud of it. I think it came out awesome. And today is launch day if you are watching this in real time. So um, I'm having a launch day special of half off of the course. Normal course price will be $197. And uh, launch day price is 97. This is an online course that you take at your own pace. Once you sign up for it, you have it for life. You have access. You can re-watch the videos as much as you want. There's a special Facebook group for anyone that takes the course, etc. So I'll put the link for that in the description. I urge you to sign up today if you can. Okay. I'm going to throw just a tiny, tiny dash of black in here. <laughs> okay, tiniest bit. All right, and I'm not sure if she meant whoop, like this or like this, but I think like this will work best. So here we go. Just gonna pour, you know what? Just pour right in the middle here. I am liking this already. I have been in a little bit of a pink phase recently, and I think I might be entering into kind of a yellow phase as well. I just got to get more mixed up. Maybe it's a summer thing. I don't know. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's let that kind of just drain and move on its own for a little bit. There's no need to rush the tilting. Should be plenty of paint. I might throw a little bit down near the edges just to make sure. Yeah, I'm going to actually throw oops, a little bit of red down over here, I think. All right, while that is still draining, I'm gonna just go ahead and cover up the edges. Just to get it fully covered here. I'm having so much fun with this dollar store series. I swear, like, some of my best projects just come from just going to the dollar store and looking around and being like, what can I, what will create a unique pattern? What can I pour on over with? So I'm super happy with some of the projects that I've done as part of this series so far. I definitely have more items to use. Gonna try to knock all of them out within the next like couple weeks or so. If you would like to participate, cause I mean, this to me is a group participation thing. It's of course not enforced, required, 
requested or anything, if you would like to participate, I will go ahead and throw my mailing address down in the description. Um, you know, just make sure you send me your name and then what I love when people send me like what ideas they have for using the products. Okay, now I'm thinking that she might have done it the other direction because hers did not have a circle on it, I don't think. So I'll probably try this one again with the other direction. But still, pretty cool. And it's a cat toy, so, you know, it's got two sides. Plus, I might even be tempted to pour over the middle part, the little part with a bell in it. This is a really cool color scheme, too. All right, yeah, hers hers definitely came out better. <laughs> uh, but I still like it, and I really am happy with these colors. Super bright. And for the next one, I think I would want to have a little more yellow, so I'll make sure to mix up some more yellow. I loved her color combo for this, too. All right, I'm going to let this sit for a little while. Then we'll do our close-up, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It doesn't seem to be moving very much. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. So I am really loving the patterns that this got. Look how cool that is. And this color combination is actually just awesome. I think using the neon pink specifically was a really good idea. This really cool lines and patterns in this. So it's kind of like a, just a really big flower. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much to everyone who has participated in this group dollar store project. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you are too. And uh, don't forget to check out the description for all of the materials, plus the link to my new course and the links for the other uh, dollar store videos. I'll see you next time.